What's up guys? How's it going today? Kevin is feeling a million times better. I hope you guys are doing well. So today, I woke up a little bit late. And you know what, one thing about, um, since I had this bug, I've learned to sleep. <laughs> I um, Normally I go to bed late and wake up early and always feel tired. But one thing I learned since I've not felt well, I had to rest, is sleeping. In the morning I wake up and think, why am I awake? I go back to sleep. <laughs> and then the, in the afternoon nap. <laughs> so what's been happening here at Paradise today? Well, it was overcast this morning, so I come out in the garden. I had some breakfast and um, then come out and pottered about in the garden a little bit. Um, what did I do? Not too much, because I thought, I'm not going to go crazy. I wanted to take it easy a little bit. So, um, trim the hedge just a little bit from the main gate down the road, just on the front. I was worried about the dust a little bit getting on my chest, so I didn't go crazy. But I worked in my shade garden where I keep all like the plants that are a little bit more delicate, don't like the sun so much. Want to see? Have a look at this. So in there is where I keep the like the orchids and stuff like that. A um, little bit difficult to keep everything perfectly happy, but the orchids flower, so I guess they're happy. And some new plants are coming on. I had to, um, what do they call them? I forget the name of them. They're like a, let me show you and you can tell me the name. This one here, this is the biggest one. And then there's one behind it over here. You see the bottom leaves go bad and then they fall down and then protect actually protect the uh, the pot from the Sun so I don't cut them off I just leave them like that so I have about seven of those in all those two they got like um they're in the shade about 85 percent of the day they get a little bit of Sun in the afternoon for about an hour um, and they they much prefer to be outside so I've, a while back I moved another one to, to, to hang from a tree. I get a piece of rope, nylon rope, put it through a piece of little bit of plastic hose and put that over the branch so it doesn't damage the tree and then hang the, the um, basket from that, okay? And I, so I just moved another one up into a tree today. So this one up here is one that I told you about, that's one. And today I moved another one up here. See it? And I got a couple more. One of them, um, you gotta be careful because the squirrels will get in them and they'll steal the, the rooting compound. It's like a coconut husk broke into little pieces. So you gotta be careful. But some of them didn't have a big rooting, you know, a lot of uh, compost, uh, what do you call it medium to grow in so now they do and um, I put one over here he's not looking too healthy but this is kind of my neural nursery area over here and uh, see how he does but I'm gonna find a pot uh, you don't want to look at plastic you if you can you you can use organic material like woods and stuff like a hardwood maybe but they um, of course you got to put a rooting compound so it stays wet plant grows in it you have to water it so I found like a brown dark brown plastic um, pot from a 20 shop actually that is the, that is the best and drill three holes in it and put the, the metal loop through it so that it will hold and that way it doesn't rot and fall apart and it's because if even whatever you use what wants to rot and fall apart so you have to be a little bit careful yesterday I had a couple guys come over the guys who cut the grass before I said to him about working down the bottom of the hill, cleaning it up. I think that they didn't really want to do it. So I just left it. And then they called out of the blue and said, can we come do the, down the hill? I said, come on. So the, yesterday they came and I'll show you what they did. Yesterday they cleaned it, all this up. 
they cleaned it all up yesterday so to, what I'm going to do is once it all dies back I'm going to go down there and pull all that metal out of the ground and just leave it like it is just leave it alone but just take the metal out I don't want to look at that metal laying in there all the time I don't like eyesore stuff laying around I don't like to see this junk laying around so I'll clean all that out and I'm not getting any more ducks I don't want to just buy food you know you I got these little tiny babies took care of them fed them every day watered them every day checked them all the time they got big swam away and the monitor lizards eat them so I'm not doing that again I've been thinking about that um, Avery you know I said I gotta make a new Avery because the, uh, the bird, there's so many birds now um, either I I don't really want to give them away or sell them definitely not sell them and don't really want to give them away because they you know they're born here and they that's their family so I gotta make a either take the nesting boxes away or um, make a big av bigger Avery so I think I have to make a bigger Avery anyway because there's just too many in there right now so in my little nursing area here this is where it's going to go these poles are supposed to go in the ground so I just got to I'll probably move them out the way because my original plan was to have all this here underneath of uh, that um, salang but I don't want that I think it's going to be too much of an eyesore so I got to try to find a way to make it to block some of the Sun out but I'm definitely going to put that little house over there and put the Avery here. So I might put the rest of the poles in and then I can put the wire up and put some slang on top at the front maybe. Just here. And put some uh, trees or something there. But this is where the Avery is going to go. Right here. I thought of metal or wood. In the long term metal would be uh, cheaper because wood's expensive here but what would look nicer wood so once I ca catch up on uh, the gardening from not being well once I catch up on everything I'm gonna go buy some wood and uh, put it here and start building it it won't take long a week or so just um, you know make a square frame on the bottom I have to buy some blocks to put on the bottom you know they don't e use the cuttlefish but they chew the blocks up you think a little tiny bird how can they bother the blocks but they do they chew it right up so um, I put some blocks sand down and the blocks and the wood on top and then build on top of that but it's going to be you know as wide as I can and tall and maybe not put so many nesting boxes in so they can't make so many brothers and sisters and moms and dads what do you think well, I was thinking the the small one which they're in now it's not small neither it's like a uh, two and a half meters by th two two meters wide something like that but um, I, do, I have a thing about the white birds so I was thinking leave all the white ones in there and move the green and blue ones over here there's not many blue ones few but um, I think in the white ones leave there and move the yellow and orange one uh, yellow and green ones over here some really pretty colors there's a there's been a gray one I haven't seen him for a while I'm, I guess I haven't paid much attention there's the gray one okay guys short one tonight I hope you're all doing really well look after yourselves buckets of blessings thanks for um, thanks for um, asking how I am and hoping I'm feeling better and all that jazz when I was bad but I can say now a thousand percent better chest is better energy is coming back slowly slowly so uh, thanks so much glad you guys are here look after yourselves buckets of blessings Rivers of love, joy, peace, and kindness. Look after yourselves. See you in the morning. Good night.